Привет, друзья! Меня зовут Юля. Добро пожаловать на мой канал. Hello, everyone! My name is Julia. Welcome to my channel. And today we are going to improve our pronunciation and we are going to talk about voiced and voiceless consonant. What does it mean? In Russian language there are two types of consonants voiced and voiceless. If you put your hand on your Adam's apple and pronounce V, 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 you will feel the vibration. The, because we use our voice to produce this sound. That's why it's called voiced. While if you do the same with sound F, 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 there won't be any vibration. That's why it's called voiceless. So today we are going to focus on six main groups. Over, you can see them over here. So why it is important. So rule number one. Uh, when voiced consonants are at the end of words, they become voiceless. So V will pronounce will be pronounced as F, B as P, D as T, Z, Sh, Z, S, G, K. So let's have a look at some examples. Lef, Lef. So you can see at the end is a voiced consonant V, but as it is located and at the end of uh, a word, it will become voiceless. So we pronounce it as F, Lef, Lef, Gnev, Gnev, Gnev. Клюв, клюв, клюв. Next, let's have a look at the consonant B. Хлеб, хлеб. Exactly, so a uh, voiced consonant B we pronounce as P voiceless, so it becomes voiceless. P. Хлеб. Хлеб, клуб, клуб, гриб, гриб. Let's have a look at the voiced consonant D. Мед, мед, вход, вход, город. Город. Mm -hmm. Voiced consonant Ж. Муж. 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 Yes, you can hear voiceless consonant Ш. Because it is located at the end. Муж. Муж. Пляж. Пляж. Гараж, гараж. Мороз. Which one do you hear? Мороз. Yes, it is written voiced uh, consonant Z, мороз. But it is pronounced as S, мороз. Глаз, глаз, глаз. Рассказ, рассказ. And the last one is consonant G, G. Снег, снег, снег. Пирог, пирог. Юг, юг. So it was rule number one. When voiced consonants are at the end of a word, they 
become voiceless. Let's have a look at rule number two. Rule number two. If two consonants are next to each other, the second one dictates the rules of pronunciation. For example, if the second one is voiced, like here, b is voiced, it means the first one will be voiced as well. Uh, for example, например, футбол, футбол, футбол. So you can hear that we pronounce it as d. Юбка, юбка, юбка. К is voiceless. You can check к, 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 voiceless. That's why it will be юбка. Б will be uh, will become voiceless as well. Ложка, ложка, ложка. Все, все, все. Can you hear? I pronounce it as F. Все. And the last example. Автобус, автобус, автобус. Т. Let's find it over here. Т is voiceless. Yes, that's why it will be автобус, автобус. But this rule applied as well for uh, prepositions. Because if you want to say, for example, I'm from France, you don't say Я из Франции. You say Я из Франции. So you pronounce preposition with the following word like all together. Я из Франции. So the same rule here. Ф is voiceless. That's why Z we pronounce as С. Я из Франции. Я из Бразилии. Here you can hear clear Z. Я из Бразилии. Because B is voiced. Я из Бразилии. В театре. В театре. I'm in the theater. Я в театре. Я в зоопарке. Я в зоопарке. Под столом. Под столом. Под столом. So here we pronounce it as t. Под столом. I hope now it's more or less clear, but unfortunately there are some exceptions. Let's see. You need to remember these four consonants. L, M, N, R. Because they won't change their pronunciation and they won't affect the pronunciation of the consonant next to them. For example, врач, врач, вместе, вместе, знак, знак. We pronounce these words as they are written. Пример, пример, среда. Среда, парк, парк. And if uh, these four voiceless consonants are before V, they won't become uh, voiced. Квартира, квартира, свитер, свитер, твой, твой. That's it, guys, for today. I hope this video helped you to improve your pronunciation. Let me know if you liked this video. Thanks for watching and пока-пока!